Yeah, hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit Splits with me, Fujit. Hello. So in this video I want to talk about what happens when your, uh, your teammates either A camp at the back or just don't get involved. And it's something that a lot of players will experience. Now, this is a game on mines. Now, I've already got a very active T92 uh, Spanky World of Tanks Blitz YouTube channel. Um, and also a very overactive Chieftain. And he's going to tell him in a moment to calm down. That's not the main problem we've got. If you look at the mini map, we, you will see that there is a heavy tank sat right at the back in the spawn. And this happens more often than you think. I'll just go and show you that. So basically what we've got over in our spawn is this going down. Okay. The TD I understand, but we've got an IS-8 just sat there in the spawn, really not doing nothing. Now, to be honest with you, he's a relatively new player and he's got a 42% win rate. And to be fair, I can understand why he's got a 40% a 42% win rate it's because he is waiting for his team to carry him and you're not going to get that more than 40 odd percent of the time to be honest with you thing is you're going to come across this type of gameplay what you need to do is play your game you may have to readjust your style you may have to readjust your plan but you need to play your game don't let it frustrate you. Don't let it get to you. Because if you let it creep in and frustrate you and annoy you and get to you, then you won't play to the best of your ability because you'll be too busy focused on shouting at somebody else, calling them a noob, telling them to get off their backside and move out of spawn, etc, etc. There's no point in that. Now, we've got the upper hand in this game, thankfully. Spanky in the T92 is doing a fantastic job. The Centurion is not, uh, sorry, the Chieftain is, 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 is dead, he's gone. He was very aggressive, to be fair. The IS-8 hasn't moved from his perch and the TDs haven't moved from their perch. So a majority of this battle is myself and the T92 putting the pressure on the enemy. Now, as I said, I get sometimes the TDs having to camp. Now we've got the TDs moving, mainly because they realize that there's no point sitting at the back anymore. The IS-8 is also slowly moving. As you can see, it's lost a shed load of hit points. And, you know, if you sit at the back, guys, and try and snipe in tanks like an IS-8, you are going to lose your hit points. But, but, don't worry about him. Don't worry about them. Worry about your game. And the more you concentrate on what you can do, how you can move around the map, what targets you can look at, well, the better your gameplay will actually become. There's no point, as I said, screaming and shouting at um, a newish player or an, in, or, or an inexperienced player or just a bad player because all it's doing is going to frustrate you and annoy you. We end up playing a fantastic game here. We have a good rollout. We, we do some decent damage. We, we win the game and you know that could have gone differently if I could have if I would have spent most of the bloody game typing in the chat IS8 move your backside IS8 you're a noob IS8 do this IS8 do that there's no reason and there's no point we end up doing a, a relatively good game we get a third class we're in M60 but it's not about getting the big damage as I keep saying it's not about getting those golden M's it's about winning Winning is the name of the game. If you want to get your win rate up, that's what you need to do. And as you can see there, I mean, Spanky in the, tw in the T20, in the T92 has done fantastically well. We're the second top damage and the FV gets the top damage. And unsurprisingly, the very aggressive Chieftain and the Let's Sit at the Back IS-8 do next to nothing. On some occasions, however, teams just don't do what you expect and they may not be sitting at the back twiddling their thumbs they may be just being inert um, you know in, in this I tendly find this with the newer players that there is an inertia there's, there's, there's two game modes to a newish inexperienced player I've discovered it's either everybody rushing die in the first sort of 30 seconds or 
don't do anything at all. Sit at the back, on your backside, and wait. Okay, and you are going to face teams like this, and you again have got to reevaluate what you're going to do. Now we can already see there that the 183 on the enemy team is frustrated with his team because they're also suffering from a bit of inertia, to be fair. But my team is too. I mean, look at the minimap. I've got two TDs in a heavy. I mean, the Kranwagen is is a relatively new player again, 42%. He is neither aggressive nor passive. He's just in a very bad position. Um, especially with a tank with a great great turret armor and haul down and, and good depression and good haul down capability and i'll just show you where he is because it, it's always interesting when you see where 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 your, where your team actually is so he is here absolutely useless there uh to be honest with you he's he's not using that tank to its ability and he's come down, if you notice, he's come down from this perch here, which again, for a Cranwagon, isn't the best. If we then move around the map, you will see that we've got two tanks sat over here. One of them is, is this Skoda that's, wow, well, he's, he's getting to an advanced position. And the other one is this T-54 which again is in a relatively advanced disposition, but both tanks are in very, very bad positions, if I'm being honest. But let's continue. Now, I'm in an IS-4 here. I, I don't particularly want to be on this ridge line. What I wanted to do was get the spots and have the tanks behind me hit them. And that didn't really go according to plan as such. The IS-4 is not great for this position because it doesn't have the gun depression, okay? Now, I'm getting a couple of bounces, and I finally managed to pen a shot after bouncing that E50 um, so many times. But I'm doing too much here. I I'm sticking my nose out far too much, and I'm getting punished for it. And the reason I'm getting punished is because there's an inertia. We've already lost two tanks. And you already see we've lost the 183, and we've lost the Skoda. The Skoda was in a very bad position. The 183 was just at the back and was always going to be focused and camped. And the Kranwagen really hasn't moved, okay? And nor is the, and, and the T-54 is now moved and dropped down in a relatively better position, must admit. He was in a bad position, but he's in a better position now. We finally clear the E-50M. I've only got 15 hit points. I've been farmed to oblivion. And now you can see the Kranwagen, let me just show you after we, we take down this Progetto, putting some good shots into the Progetto here, who gave me a hard time. And I just want to pause it there again, and I want to show you the Kranwagen. He's in a very advanced position, okay? Now, I know for a fact that there are TDs there somewhere, and he would be better off coming this way, but I expect that from a newish player to be honest with you. He hasn't really got many good shots on anything there. I get a relatively decent shot on the E50. And again, like I tried to explain in the last game, when you're faced with teams like this, you need to play your game. Don't be frustrated to the point where you start making mistakes. And I try and say this in every single video. The idea of a good strategy is to make the enemy make the mistakes and then you punish them rather than you being a rush because you're frustrated with your team um, it's it's really that simple and that straightforward if you get frustrated you will make more mistakes so just chill calm down take a deep breath and think what can I do there is no point in pushing headlong if the team is not going to be there to support you so you have to focus on your immediate vicinity of the game. What can you do? What 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 is going to be best for you? Now, I'm not going to say it's going to work every single time because it won't work every single time. But but you can weather these storms if you just take a deep breath 
and have a slight pause. Get yourself into a bit of cover and hopefully, hopefully you'll weather the storm as we did here in the IS-4. Now I admit I got incredibly lucky because I, I, I finished the game on what? Four hit points or something. And I got lucky there. But the fact of the matter remains, you know, I was still able to sort of get myself relatively into a decent part of cover, take a deep breath, have a bit of a chill pill and sort myself out. Now, look, I always expected the, the likes of the 268 to be camping. He's a TD, he is meant to camp, okay? Um, so, in, in the end of the day, the T-54 has a good game. He really, really does. So, it's not being unduly harsh. I'm just trying to explain to you, don't get frustrated when you see this type of gameplay. So, this is the last game that we're going to look at. And this is an interesting game. Now, it's this one is the opposite to... Well, it's a bit of both. There's a bit of inertia, there's a bit of camping, and there's a bit of... You know just far too aggressive we're here on rockfield and we're going into the obligatory let's go towards the sea cap because that's where everybody goes and already i can see that we've got a bat chat over there now i'm tuned up here with triggerman jones from the jones clan very good player who's also another youtuber tends to stream a lot and we're trying to take up relatively decent positions i'm going to get a good bounce at a moment from the grill there we go now we can see there's a bat chap over, uh, over there on the A cap, which means the majority of their tanks are going to be around this area where we are. Can't get the shot on the bat chap. So we've got issues here. Now I just want to stop at this point because what I want to show you is pretty, pretty straightforward. So over this side of the map, I've got a 60 TP. Then don't forget there's only one bat chap. So we've got a 60 TP. We've got a yo, and we've got one bat chat. Okay, now over this side of the map, we've got the majority of the enemy tanks. We've got an IS-4, we've got a crown wagon, we've got a yo, there's a grill over there, and what you can't see camping at the back here is something like an E4. So that's what we're looking at. Now, if you look on the mini map, okay, we've got two heavies out, out there on a, on, on a whim. And we're trying to hold the line here with TD and a light support. And it's really our backs are against the wall here. Not going to lie. It's an E5, actually. So the E5 are bouncing. And I'm trying to get rid of this IS-4, whilst at the same time trying to protect Triggerman, because he's lost a few hit points. Get a snapshot here, which was pretty lucky. Um, Triggerman's in an IS-7, I'm in the uh, I'm in the IS-4. We've only lost a tank, uh, Sheridan's gone down. He was very aggressive, to be fair, put himself in a very, very forward position with a lot of big guns around. So, already, we've now lost two tanks. Our E-4 has gone down as well as our Sheridan and there's no loss of tanks on the enemy team we are just desperately now trying to hold a line and if you look at the minimap and I'm going to stop it there again because I want to show you the minimap I'm expecting if I get up high I'm expecting to be perfectly honest our heavy tanks who are over here to get cross shots so we've got the 60 TP who is trying to get a cross shot by looks on it and i've got a, a yo coming down at this moment in time these two tanks are realistically not in the game okay they're, they're not useful and they are big guns and they are you know what we need we need those big guns and we just don't have them so we're we're, we're under the cosh here now we've lost three tanks Okay, we've only got the heavy tanks left, and two of those heavies are on the opposite side of the map. And, you know, they decided they wanted to go that way. We finally get a kill. Unfortunately, we're losing hit points rapidly. I'm doing my best here, and so is Trigger Man, to try what we can possibly do to turn this game. I know it's a loss. It's three against six. And our 60 TP hasn't moved. Our Yo is now doomed. He's out. He's gone. So 
this is a loss and all I can do now is damage and there's nothing else I can do so you know I've done 3.6k I'm probably gonna get 3. Point, yeah there you go I bounce 4.1 hit 3.6 the 60 TP is very healthy and he hasn't actually moved from this perch and you can see again the frustration creeps in thankfully you know these things are only said at the end of the game nobody was saying anything during the game because everyone was focused on their own game and that's what I'm trying to point out because these these games do happen guys now again this guy is a relatively new player relatively inexperienced with quite a lowish win rate and just for good measure he gets ammo racked and, and you've got to get past this you've got to understand that you are going to face games like this you are going to have teams like this you're not always going to have people who, on your team who are going to be able to read your mind and do what you think they should be doing it doesn't work that way in real life so you've got to adapt improvise and overcome all on your own as you can see there we lost the bat chat for zero with the 60 tp did 591 damage that's one shot that he managed to land uh, e4 went down pretty easily as well but he also was very aggressive the sheridan well he couldn't really do much he was in a good position the yo to be fair did a decent job but he was out on the limb and he he was the one who probably took down their bat chat no he didn't because i took down their bat chat <laughs> In fact, he didn't take anything down, but he whittled the bat chat down and he probably put a couple of shots into that E5. But that was a game that should never have been a loss. Anyway, I've been Fujit, and that has been my take on how to cope when teams don't do what you think they're going to do. They either sit at the back or they YOLO rush, or, you know, they're just completely inert. And you've got to focus on your game okay you've got to chill out yourself because it's easy to get frustrated and when you get frustrated you make mistakes everybody makes mistakes guys you know you're not going to win every game nobody's really got a true 100 percent win rate so you've got to try and increase the odds into your favor and the only way you're going to do that is if you chill out in reevaluate your situation and think well what can I do to change this you may be in a situation that is you know doomed it may be a situation that you just cannot come back from and then you have to look at other matters and all you can think about then is right I need to do the damage I need to do this I need to do that it's not going to be a win maybe I can get my damage up and maybe I will you know save a little bit of saving grace on that don't just stick your gun up in the air and you know throw your toys out of the pram and certainly don't go around shouting at everybody because there's no point the only thing that does is frustrate you takes you into the next game frustrated and then you try a little bit harder the harder you try the worse it becomes you know i mean i, I said the last game was the last replay but I just don't want to, you know this this game is just like the game I wanted to show as my rollout um, of the video but this is another game where there is a bit of inertia and you know I could sit here and I could just, you know when you're in the game and you're focused on the game you say oh bloody T57 Heavy is doing nothing T57 Heavy is actually having a fantastic game and he does I think close to 5k damage in this game and you can see he's in a very forward position we've got all our TDs stretched along the back in a line and you know they are putting shots in so it's easy for me to get frustrated i'm with loro who who is in the clan and he's a great player and he can be aggressive when he wants to be and he wanted to be aggressive in this game so we kind of left our tds behind is that our fault to an extent yes we're expecting support when support wasn't coming but we're supporting each other and we're taking the fight to the enemy we've got relatively good positions and it would be simple for us to lose our rag here and say get a move on move 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 but, but what would be 
what would we achieve? We would achieve nothing. It's better to just concentrate on the game in hand, concentrate on our gameplay, and do what we can to win this game. And that's exactly what we do. Anyway, I've been fooded. As I said, that's what to do when you're faced with interesting teams or gameplay that you know is unexpected for you. In other words, don't lose your rank. By all means, comment in everything below because I'd be interested to know your thoughts on this. I'd be interested to understand how you address such things yourselves because you will face them yourselves. And that's what the comments are for. The comments are there for you to tell us this sort of stuff. Anyway, guys, until the next time, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that really is the most important thing is having fun and being happy.